You know, I'd like to call the Monday, January 11th uh, meeting of the Jackson County Board of Education order. I'd like to welcome everyone to our first meeting of 2021. Uh, I'd also like to welcome our staff and any visitors. A special welcome to our, our newest member, Mr. Johnson, uh, joining us. In the Can I uh, move on to approval of the minutes? from uh, December the 14th and December the 2nd. Anyone, everyone had opportunity to review those minutes? Everyone good? Can I, can I get a motion to, to, to approve? So moved. I'll motion, second. have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from December the 14th and December the 2nd. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Next item, we we'll move to the approval of the agenda since Friday. Uh, we've had an executive session on the minutes for the consent agenda. Can I get a motion? Approval of the agenda? So moved. Uh, motion? Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we'll move into uh, public comment. Any comments on no, sir. I was, I was just scanning our attendee list, and I don't think we have anyone for the general public, but we'll give it just a moment. Is there anyone here for a general uh, public comment for the, to address the board this evening? No one. <coughs> no, I, I think we're good. Okay. Hearing none, we'll move into the next item of the agenda. It's the, the superintendent's comments, uh, Dr. Howard. Thank you, Mr. Clarency, and to the board members and to all of our guests who are here virtually. We look forward to the day that we can honor you in person, but uh, thank you for being willing to, willing to partner with us and as we continue to navigate this. Um, as you all know, we have the honor of recognizing one school per month, and uh, if we were not under such conditions, we would be excitedly um, visiting East Jackson High School tonight, but since we're not able to visit East Jackson High School tonight, we're, we're going to do it virtually. And so I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Palmer to highlight East High, and I believe uh, with the board's uh, grace, gracious blessing here, we're going to ask her to recognize her Rotary student first uh, because she's got an outstanding young person who also juggles a job, and so she's had to negotiate, I believe, to be able to join us. So, Ms. Um, Ms. Palmer, I'll turn it over to you, and we look forward to hearing about your Rotary student as well as your East Jackson school hi highlights. Thank you so much, Dr. Howard, and, and thank you for allowing us to go early in the program tonight. I hope that Sheena Lim is on the um, this video somewhere. I haven't seen her sweet face yet, but she um, is a very well-rounded student who also uh, works outside of school. So she works at Zaxby's. And one of the beautiful things about view, uh, virtual learning and virtual opportunities is it gives some of our students who are very, very busy in the evenings the opportunity to pop into to board meetings to be recognized. And so I hope that she's going to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. Um, as I'm um, looking through her bio, her, I hope that her parents are also being able to watch this. Her names are Manny and Sol Lim. Tina's classes for this semester include AP Biology and AP Calculus. She's also in Allied Healthcare, so she's finishing up a CTAE pathway with her coursework this year. She's taken an online course, Astronomy, and of course that's not something that most high school students in most districts have the opportunity to do, so we thank the board for providing those opportunities for our students to take some unusual courses that they might be interested in. She is also in three different band classes. And so she um, is very active in our band program. And because she started her high school coursework as an eighth grader, she's had the opportunity to add some courses, some additional courses like that um, um, as she enters her senior year. She's also been a dual enrollment student, um, not taking dual enrollment this year, but she's had some economics and political science on her transcript from a previous year. And so um, just looking at her coursework, you can tell she's a pretty well-rounded young lady. And as far as her activities outside of school, she is our drum major for our marching band. She's on the Jackson County Student Leadership Group team. Um, as I mentioned, she's a part-time worker at Zaxby's, and she was also our homecoming queen this year. She's also involved in sports. She's lettered in track and in cross country. And she's involved in things outside of school, such as a youth leader for the Youth in Christ of Georgia and a volunteer at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. She's received many, many um, accolades as a, a high school student, including the Most Outstanding Band Member Award, a Literature Award, um, an, act, an Academic Letterman. 
She's an AP scholar and she's an AP scholar with honors. And so again, a very well-rounded young, young lady who's taken advantage of the opportunities that the Jackson County School System has provided her. So Sheena, if you are um, with us this evening, I'm gonna allow you to introduce your, your teacher that you've selected, who's a familiar face to us, and then tell the board a little bit about your plans after high school. Hello. Um, can y'all hear, hear me? We can. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for working with my schedule. Sorry, I'm, I'm so hard, but um, thank you so much for having me. Um, the teacher that I picked for my um, most influential teacher was Coach Briscoe. Um, I'm sure he's been here often because he's well-rounded um, and works really well with a lot of students. So. Um, that's why I picked him to be my um, most influential teacher. And uh, some plans that I have after high school, um, I'm hoping to go to either UGA or Georgia Tech. Um, and I'm hoping to major in molecular biology or biochemistry with an emphasis in genetics. Well, Sheena, you are quite a bright young lady. We are. So, it makes it even more special that you're willing to join us right there from work, and it just shows how versatile and, and uh, gifted you are. So thank you for joining us. And I believe Mr. Briscoe is with us. Am I correct, Ms. Um, Palmer? Yes, ma'am. I believe I saw his face on the screen earlier. There he is. Hello, Mr. Briscoe. We can see you. Hello, everybody. Well, I don't, I don't know if the floor is mine or not. I didn't know that I, I get an opportunity to speak here, but uh, Sheena, Sheena is a extremely well-rounded individual. I, I keep laughing because she's at Zaxby's right now. And that, that doesn't really surprise me because I, I go through the Zaxby's line every Sunday and I see Sheena and she gives me my big Zax snack, you know, and we talk about her, uh, her Zaxby's experiences while I'm sitting in with calculus. Um, so she is great. She's a, a great, well-rounded individual, and I'm hoping she makes the right decision and goes to the University of Georgia. <laughs> well, Mr. Briscoe, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Sheena's right, your name, and this is not the first time we've seen you among us, and that's for good reason because of the outstanding work you do in the classroom. So thank you for everything that you do, and um, we appreciate you very much. and appreciate you and Sheena both making time to be here tonight. So. I will turn it back over to Ms. Palmer, who I believe is going to introduce um, a highlight for East Jackson High School. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you again for allowing us the opportunity to go first so that Sheena could be a part of this. Um, um, there are many reasons that we don't want to be a part of this virtual world right now, but this is an example of one of the, the reasons that it's a good thing for our students. It gives them some opportunities that they haven't had in the past. So as we transition, we do have um, a short video. We tried to keep it to about two and a half minutes because we know how busy the board is. Um, and this is a, a video that's produced by our students. So there are some imperfections in it. Um, it's guided by Ms. Holly Knepp, our, our media specialist, just to give you some highlights of East Jackson High School this school year. And what we chose to do is instead of focusing on the pandemic and COVID and all of the restrictions that we have had this year, we wanted to focus instead on the things that make us proud to be East Jackson Eagles and the hard work that our teachers do to stay connected to our kids, regardless of the restrict restrictions that we're living under this year. So that's our little introduction. Like I said, about two and a half minutes of just some scenes from this school year. Thank you, Ms. Palmer. Um, it's scary when I'm at the hands of technology, but I'm going to let Mr. Uh, Vanderford coach me through it and make sure that we're presenting. I think I have it. I think I think I think I'm right here, sir. The Eagle News crew was able to complete eight full episodes so far this year. In Mrs. Anderson's class, we completed bacterial transformations. They did enough to figure out ways for us to keep reading. These were saved 
that celebrated a 94.59% graduation rate. I know video three student Tyler Crow works in the community as well as anchor the nest here at EJCHS. We celebrate our students of the month with rewards for being exemplary role models. These two girls finished in 11th place in the state this year. Here's the the first place in the Newburgh Holiday Cheer class. Coach Jarvis just celebrated 200 points. The football team defeated Banks County this year. And any of you, 2020 didn't go as we expected. <laughs> Miss um, Palmer, from my perspective, that was outstanding. It was a great highlight of the great things going on at East High, and I think it's a testament to the fact that everybody just keeps on doing the best they can in a very unique environment. So, uh, Ms. Palmer, I'll stop sharing this screen and I'll give you a chance if there's anything else that you would like to say. I think that completes Ms. Jackson's presentation. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. I believe the next item on our agenda this evening will be the continuation of our rotary recognition. So thank you again uh, to Sheena and for, to Mr. Briscoe. We hope you stay with you. But Sheena, I think we, we're, you're going to go back to work. So thank you for joining us and have a great evening. <laughs> uh, so at the next uh, recognition we'd like is uh, to include our Jackson County Conference of High School team. And so I will turn it over to Mr. Wester. Uh, thank you, Dr. Howard and board members. We are honored uh, tonight to uh, recognize Mr. Marcus Tipton, uh, one of our seniors and, and certainly uh, someone who is uh, definitely worthy of the Rotary Club Student of the Month uh, for January. And, uh, you know, Marcus is just a great student, a well-rounded student, very similar to Sheena and so many of his accomplishments academically. Uh, he has been a star uh, from getting high school credits in eighth grade, which have, have opened up his schedule to do a lot of, of work with his uh, interest in music and band. Um, he has taken courses like AP Chemistry, AP U.S. History, AP Lit, and AP Lang, uh, AP World History. Uh, this year, he's taking physics. Um, he's not taking a break this year. He's taking physics as well as Spanish three honors and uh, government and economics. Uh, in addition to that, he's taking four band classes this year uh, because his schedule allows him to do that based on his success uh, earlier in his career. So we're excited for that. But he's doing things outside of his proficiency as a clarinetist. He's, a, he's an amazing clarinetist, but he's also doing some percussion. Uh, he's doing some other instrument ensemble. So he's he's really broadening his musical repertoire uh, this year uh, as a result of his hard work earlier in his career. So we're excited for him to be able to do that as well. Um, he has uh, been in marching band uh, during his career here, as well as different ensembles, including the jazz band and, and uh, different ensembles with uh, our band program. And he's also a member of the Spanish Honor Society. He's been honored to be uh, recognized as an all-state clarinetist, as I mentioned before, and he is also in the top 10% of his class uh, that will be graduating this year. So we're really excited for all of his accomplishments and proud to have him as a member uh, of our student body here at Jackson County. Um, and I'm going to let uh, Marcus at this time talk a little bit, I'm sorry, and his mom and dad, uh, Jody and Diane Tipton, are certainly a big part of that. And I didn't get to mention them, I, I forgot that part before, but they're a big part of his success, I know, and I know they're real proud of him just like we are. 
Uh, I'd like him, though, if, Marcus, if you're uh, still with us, to just touch base and tell us a little bit about your most influential teacher and uh, also about your future plans. Thank you, Mr. Wester, for introducing me. Um, the teacher that I chose for my own most influential teacher is William Kilgore. And the college that I'm going to be attending is UNG Dahlonega, and I'm going to be pursuing a science major, either a biological science, and that can uh, probably fall into like an agricultural science, and I'll be minoring in music. Thank you, Marcus. We are glad that you were able to join us and are very, very proud of you. And I think that you uh, probably would like for Mr. Kilgore to have an opportunity to say a word or two. Is that correct? All right. <laughs> It is my honor to be chosen, and I'm so proud of Marcus. Oh, my goodness, what a delightful individual. I've never found a person that is quite so uh, perfectionist with his music and that he's an all-state clarinetist and in jazz band soloing and, and center snare in the marching band, and yet so humble and kind. Uh, he's a great mixture of, of passion for what we do and high standards and just a compassionate human being. And uh, the reason we've had such a stellar year in the Jackson County High School Band is because of individuals like Marcus Tipton. And I'm, I'm so proud of him. I can't wait to see the great things he's going to do in the future. And so proud of his, his brother and Jody and, and Diane. They're, they're a wonderful, wonderful family. And I appreciate uh, them sharing uh, Marcus's life with, with my life. Thank you very much, Mr. Kilgore. Mr. Uh, Wester, I'm sure you have additional comments. I, I would just like to say that all the all the compliments that Mr. Kilgore just gave to Marcus, I think also belong to Mr. Kilgore, the humble and kind and a model for students. And so to you and to Mr. Briscoe, thank you so much for what you do for our students. You can tell what an amazing impact you have. And I, we, on behalf of all of us, very, very grateful. We wouldn't, we're very appreciative. So thank you, thank you for joining us. Right. Mr. Wester, did you did that sum it up for you, sir, or did you have any closing remarks? Yeah, it sums it up perfectly, Dr. Howard. I, I just this is my favorite part of, of board meetings, just to be clear, to be able to just for a moment highlight just a few of, the, of our amazing students. You know, and, and Marcus is just one example, along with William Kilgore, of some of the great and amazing examples that our staff and our students set for each other. Uh, and we're grateful to have Marcus. We're grateful to have William Kilgore and uh, just proud of them and glad that we could celebrate them here tonight with everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Marcus. I'm not sure if your parents are around, but let them know we appreciate it as well. And thank you all. And again, to Mr. Britsko and to uh, East Jackson and Jackson County, thank you for everything that you do. We're very, very proud of you. Grateful. All right. So I'm going to need to go back to our agenda real quick. Um, and the next item of business that I'd like to um, bring to your attention, and I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Nicholson will probably want to make some comments on this, but uh, he can reference the, the scrolling uh, presentation that we had earlier today. But Mr. Nicholson, would you like to share a little bit about our Seven Mindsets program? I would absolutely love to do so, Dr. Howard. And it's almost as if Mr. Wester uh, was paid to provide a, a lovely segue into this next segment. Because we do have, I mean, we have some amazing teachers, amazing students, families, um, and, and it is it is one of the, the best things that we are able to do is, is recognize those folks. And and by and large, it, our, our recognitions over the last several years have been primarily with, with high school. And, and there's there's uh, plenty of reasons to do so. But with seven mindsets, it, it afforded us the opportunity to actually recognize students at all grade levels, elementary, middle and high. That was redundant. Sorry, you know what all grade levels means. And, and so the, the idea here, though, is that we're able to recognize students for a whole range of of talents and gifts as 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 we just heard about folks that are passionate and compassionate uh, and so you, you did hopefully get to see at the very beginning of the board meeting uh, we had a slide deck that our principals uh, populated and it has a student and a teacher per school that was highlighted for for really exemplifying one of the seven mindsets that's actually housed on our website and we'll keep that one on our website for a month and in February, we'll recognize a different student and a different teacher per, per school, and then we'll replace it. But but with your permission, I'm not gonna go through all 20, but I would love for you to make sure if you didn't get to see that, that you look at it. I, we had all sorts of folks texting saying, my goodness, we knew that our students and our teachers were amazing. But when you really start to read some of the, 
the reasons why they're being recognized and and they didn't put their name in the hat they didn't ask for this this was somebody in their school that said i absolutely have to draw attention to how wonderful this person is and um, but i'd like to if you don't mind i'm gonna i'm gonna present dr howard just for a minute like i'd like to highlight three folks we we had a a, a, a committee um so many amazing folks that were represented. Hopefully you can see my screen, but I wanted to highlight one from elementary, middle and high. Again, the rest of them you can go back and read because it's definitely worth the read. But um, Mr. Jesse Hill is at South Jackson Elementary School. And this young man, I mean, A, he's a Star Wars fan, so that just makes him exceptionally cool. But he, he's a, he, he gives his time in the morning to deliver food to classroom. He likes to greet folks when they come in, in the morning. He has a positive attitude. And you know, in today's day and age with everything people are going going through to have a smile and, and you know, even if it's hidden behind a mask at some point, just to have somebody that, that greets you and, and lets you know that they're happy that you're there. And then to donate your time to, to be able to distribute food to, to the, the classrooms and, and help faculty and staff. Um, he, he just really stood out amongst the folks when we looked at this and said, Jesse, you, you, you are absolutely living to give. And we, we are so proud that we have you in our school system. So Jesse, Jesse was our elementary highlight of the month. Uh, Coach, Coach Bolt, uh, many of you know of him. Um, in terms of somebody, I, I, I love the, the you know, dream team. We talk a lot about surrounding yourself with people that bring out your gifts and your strengths. Uh, and, and Coach Bolt has definitely done that amongst his faculty and staff but but as you read through that you can see just his ability to to inspire to to create positive relationships with folks to really exude that concept that we're connected that my actions positively impact yours and your actions positively impact mine so coach bolt was our our high school highlight for this month and our middle school highlight is caitlin malden and you know our students are dealing with a whole lot of stressors this year. I mean, they, you know, from remote learning to in-person to hybrid to, to people being quarantined to sick. So to be able to, to go through all of that and say, you know, it, it doesn't matter what the environment is. It doesn't matter what you're asking of me. I am 100% accountable and I'm always gonna do my best. and I'm never gonna settle for anything less. And so for that reason, we wanted to highlight Caitlin as our middle school representative, but again, so many, so many amazing teachers and students in Jackson School System. So, please take its time. Uh, to go to, if you didn't get to see it to go to the website there's a, a box at the, the top this is new any other mindsets here in Jackson Very much County. Appreciate appreciated and it is having an impact on our schools across the board and the principals that we can see on the screen now I think uh, would would, uh, would agree with that so thank you Mr. Nicholson we'll just keep that going so the next item on our agenda is our Excellence in Service uh, Award, and Dr. Blankenship uh, usually presents these. And Dr. Blankenship, if I am correct, the Excellence in Service recognition tonight actually goes to the best in class. So if it's all right, I'm just going to turn it right back over to you and let you speak to what we have here uh, to share with our board. Absolutely. Well, good evening, board members and guests uh, who are joining us virtually. I am just thrilled this evening to be able to um, share with you a little bit about the Excellence in Service Award winners this month. Um, they are also uh, the recipient of an award that I'll share with you uh, in just a few minutes. And I believe that they're all, um, all but one are with us uh, virtually tonight. And the, the one who's not with us is doing her civic duty as a councilwoman for, for the Arcade City Council. They had a meeting tonight, and so she couldn't join us. But our recipients this month are um, Michelle Bowen, Glenda Campbell, Kat Flippin, Debbie Gammon, Amanda Hewell, Shannon Kendricks, Megan Perry, and Emily West. So as you know, the Excellence in Service Award is given each month to individuals or groups who excel in supporting the vision and mission of Jackson County Schools. This month, we're honoring these eight individuals who have gone above and beyond in their support of our schools, 
our current staff members, and our new hires. This exceptional team is always seeking ways to improve the customer service they provide to the individuals they serve, whether it be through benefits, certification questions, payroll, or the recruitment and hiring process. This year, this outstanding team was recognized at the state level by the Georgia Association of Personnel Administrators, otherwise known as GASPA, for their best, uh, with their best in class gold award, which is the second highest recognition that a system can receive for their work. The recognition received in December is based on their collective development and implementation this past spring of the new employee launch pad, which is a site that has become sort of a one-stop shop for all the onboarding of the Jackson County new hires. The launch pad provides easy access to onboarding tasks, new teacher orientation information, induction, technology resources, compliance, and all of their HR contacts. And as a result of the team's mission, I'm sorry, their vision, we were able to pivot very quickly this spring when it became apparent that we wouldn't be able to hold our regular in-person onboarding and the new teacher orientation sessions. So congratulations to this stellar team with whom I am so privileged to work with on a daily basis for being this month's Excellence in Service Award recipients. And Dr. Howard, um, I don't know if, if we have time, but I would like to just uh, share a little bit about the, uh, the new employee launch pad site. We shared this with the board uh, back several months ago, but some improvements have been made. And if, if you wouldn't mind just uh, presenting that and uh, you can see on the, as you're looking at it, on the left-hand side, there are links. So basically, this is a full site that all of our new hires have access to, and then they remain having access as employees of Jackson County School System. So they can access the resources that are available uh, from all of these links on, on the side tabs. And what's really great is many times, our employees have questions, especially as new hires, they're inundated with information. And so they might not remember and they have questions. And so they can go back and rewatch um, videos that have been posted on this site so that, um, you know, if they have questions, they can get them answered. If not, then they have the HR contacts there that they can go to to get, uh, get their questions answered. But this has just been an invaluable resource especially for our new hires. And I'm just so appreciative of this team and especially um, uh, Kat Flippin, who, who really helped to put, um, put their ideas in motion and, and create this site. Dr. Blankenship, I want to say a very special thank you. That, that site, I, I think many of us who have been around for a while remember our orientation to a new school district. <laughs> you got overwhelmed the first day, but I love what you have done, you all have done with, that is a tool when they're onboarded, but it's there for them as a reference ongoing. So not only is it more efficient for the staff member, it also, I think it increases the efficiency in our office as well, because the folks who normally answer those questions have front loaded all of that information and it gives quick access. So it's it's just a, a, a stout accomplishment around the board and a very special congratulations to all those wonderful ladies who worked on that and thank you for your leadership. So congratulations um, to that team. And I'm gonna pray that I can go back and find her board meeting, there we go. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, to Dr. Blankenship and to that whole team. And, really really wish that you could all be here in person standing in front of us so that we could give you a shout out but we have the privilege of working with you every day and know the great work that you do so thank you the last recognition that we have this evening i think is a very important one and i'm going to let uh i believe that it's going to be uh mr nickelford or mr johnson who's going to talk to us just a little bit about what stage means and then i'm going to try to present the um i'm going to present the actual award so Rusty, tell me if I'm struggling, and it's probably not. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Troy Johnson, and I'm uh, presenting here from home. And thank you, Dr. Howard, for sharing that with everyone and putting that up on the 
uh, screen for everyone to be able to see. Uh, stage stands for the Student Support Team Association for Georgia Educators. This is Association of Georgia Educators has been in place since 2009, and the organization was created to promote uh, programs and frameworks in school to support students' social, emotional, academic, and behavior. Um, and it was originally designed to support students that might be struggling to meet certain levels and it's grown since then to support all students in the state of Georgia um, and to be able to provide supports not only for students but for teachers, families, and other practitioners to help students meet their academic, behavioral, and emotional goals. And what we'd like to share with you tonight is, is that Jackson County has three schools this year that will be recognized uh, as stage recipients. Uh, since 2009, since its inception, uh, the Stage Association has given out essentially a total of about 45 awards. Uh, I can share that uh, in going back and reviewing through that list uh, recently, uh, we will be the first school system in the state of Georgia to be, have a total of five awards. Uh, three years ago, our district was res recognized as a district recipient of the district award. Uh, the year after that, in 2019, East Jackson Elementary School was our first school to be recognized. And then this year, we actually have three schools. And we are the first school system, not only to have the designation of having five award winners, uh, since the inception of SAGE, but we we're the first uh, school system to have three recogni recognitions in the same year. So um, all of that is due to the hard work of our teachers, the leaders in the building, and the students and families. This is a true team effort. Um, and I will point out our, our first recognition uh, school to be recognized will be West Jackson Middle School under the leadership of Dr. Melissa Conway. They will actually be a star award winning school uh, in the school and district uh, area with the other three schools. And this is the first time the stage association has given this designation. Prior to this, it was referred to as the Rising Star Award, but due to uh, their exemplary practices and uh, the way that the schools reached that designation, they were listed in the top performing uh, along with the other two schools. And then we also have Maysville Elementary under the leadership of Dr. Uh, Michelle Archibald and West Jackson Elementary School under the leadership of Dr. Amity Hardigree, who are recognized as Rising Star Award winners. Um, this process takes about a year and a half for a school or a system to compete. They actually have to um, go through an application process. Uh, they're selected by the state to present. And then following that uh, process, they present at the state conference. Uh, they are graded in, uh, by their peers throughout the state who fellow administrators and teachers and the top schools are selected for a site visit. We were the notified last year that three of our schools will be getting site visits. And to be honest, at first, we were biting our nails a little bit because, oh, we were like, oh, we've got three schools that are getting site visits. Um, they're going to be competing against each other. Well, they did compete against each other, and they proved that those three were the best, three of the best in the state. So, again, congratulations to our teachers, our leaders, and all those at the schools that uh, worked very tirelessly to put that framework in place to support the best uh, for all of our kids. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank you very much. And um, that is a that's a. That a recognition that doesn't come very easily. I think Mr. Johnson is probably pretty familiar with the stage uh, process, but I'm very grateful to the school leaders. They have to keep that alive and well and moving forward, and clearly they have done that. So I'm very grateful for, for that work. So um, I'm going to go back to our agenda, and I believe that's all the items that we have this evening. Uh, lots of great recognitions, um, but at this time, that's all we have to present. Thank you, Dr. Howard. Uh, we do have a need for, a, for an executive session. I can get a motion to go into executive session. Uh, have a motion. Can I get a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
second session. So moved. And motion. Can I get a second? Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. We are back from the, from the executive session to discuss personnel. Uh, we'll move on. Uh, there's no action to take as we come out of that. We're going to uh, move on to our consent agenda. Um, the items are before you on the consent agenda. Is there any any discussion? Any items? Any members would like to uh, remove that for further discussion? It's here done. Um, can I get a motion uh, on the consent agenda? So second. Uh, a motion second. to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. I have a second. Uh, all in favor, approve the consent agenda? Uh, uh, that's unanimous. Uh, consent agenda is approved. And that is uh, the last item. Uh, so we stand adjourned. Sounds Very fantastic. Good. All right. Thank you all for joining us. Hope everyone has a nice evening. Stay dry and warm. It's nasty out there. <laughs> we'll see you.